Well, hello and happy Thanksgiving week. It's Sandy Alnock We're here with a page that I'm doing for Thanksgiving to remind myself of all that I have to be thankful for. And I will be journaling in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And the image I got with this was raising my hands in praise to the Lord. And if I could have fit two hand, two of my hands on the page, I would have done both of them. But one hand fit, so there you go. There's other ways that you can do this as well. I did the handprint first, but you could also just paint the whole background with whatever crazy thing you want to do and then trace your hand on top and then start adding things to it. But the paint, as I put it down, I made it thin enough that I could still see the pen pencil lines. So I could still work into it by following the pencil lines. But the whole idea for this one is to make it very painterly and rough and messy and fun and full of color and a page that's just full of praise and worship. And to me, yellow and orange are just the colors of praise and worship because it's my favorite colors. Just something that's bright and happy and thankful. I mean, I'm just, I'm really grateful even though we are still in a crazy mess of a world, I am grateful for the place that I have in this world and that I still am alive and kicking because, you know, there are plenty of people who aren't, so there you go. I've spread the color around this time with the credit card, which means that I've been collecting paint on the other side of it. So I decided I would use that paint up and paint the other half of the spread and just paint the hard edges around the verse that I was journaling and then start spreading the color from there. Now, when you're using the credit card, sometimes you can get it thin enough when doing it over top of text that you can still see the text. And I can see it here, but I still wanted it thinner on this right side. So I went to the baby wipe and just went back and forth so that I could keep using up the paint that was stuck on the credit card and then using the baby wipe to spread it. Don't let the paint dry too much if you intend to thin it out with the baby wipe because once it dries, it'll pretty much dry and then you won't be able to remove any. So here I am getting rid of more of that orange that's on there, but I had to move pretty, pretty quickly to lift some of that color off so I didn't end up with something that was so thick that the words got all funky. But a little bit of work and that came out quite nice and gave me lots of beautiful color. So when I flip through the Bible, I will immediately be caught by the color. And that's one of the things that happens with all of my Bibles. As I'm flipping through them, I see the color and I want to stop and look at it and remember the lesson that God taught me that I had journaled on that page. Well, I was trying to use up the rest of the orange color because it was just tons of it stuck on the side of that. I used a little too much paint. And as I added it onto the background behind the hand, which I could still see the bare outlines for, I had to actually remove some again with the baby wipe so I could get some of the yellow coming through because all of that orange just took over. And then I added a little bit more of the yellow into the hand, but I wasn't looking for it to be an, a very clear outline of the hand. I wanted it to almost be a hand in motion so I'm just using a tapping motion to create the hand itself instead of using any kind of brush stroke where I'm going to have a hard edge. And then I took the white paint that I have. This is just, you know, grocery store bottle of little white paint and tapping some in here. Now, an alternate way that you could create a page like this would be to do the crazy background and not worry about the hand and then dip your hand into paint that is maybe on a plate. So paint a whole bunch out that's big enough for your hand and then do a hand print in your Bible too. You could also do a page with your kids where you get their hand prints in the Bible. That would be pretty awesome. You could even trace their hands or just have them dip their hands in paint. Be lots of fun to do to document the size of your children's hands at the age that they are right now. Just make sure you write down what year it was so that you remember that. But for me, this is... This is a hand of praise, not just a hand print. And I like the way that the yellow and the white kind of mix together. I got some highlights on there. And it's a nice rough edged in motion kind of hand as opposed to something that's too static and too graphic. 
And now for the journaling portion of our page. And I'm going to have radiating lines coming out from the hand of all the things that I give praise to God for this year, all the things I'm grateful for. And I tried to use as many synonyms for gratitude, grateful, thanksgiving that I possibly could to just challenge myself to go think of other words to use for each one that I'm grateful for. And I suggest that we all do that, whether you're a celebrator of Thanksgiving or not, in the hard times to come, and there's going to be hard times, whether it's tomorrow or next week or next year, it's always helpful to have a documented list of all the places God has been faithful to us. Because when we know he's been faithful in all of these things, how can he not be faithful in the new thing that comes our way? It's always a good idea to remember to write those things down Because when the hard stuff comes, it can be difficult to make that kind of a list and to pull it together (laughs) and to recall the, the total faithfulness of God. But do it in the good times so that you have it when the pink slip or the doctor's call comes, whatever that thing is that may happen someday. You want to be prepared for that and have your heart full of trust in the Lord because he's got your back. All right, that's it for me. I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving if you are celebrating that. I will see you all next Sunday. We're going to start the Advent series for this year. So I will meet up with you right here then. Take care. God bless you.